for good AVL as well. I did a um, Windows 7 clone for this hard drive from a 160 gig Seagate that was in here. 40 gig Western Digital. I want to try and retrieve the um, product key off it so I can um, reinstall Windows 7 and activate this machine again as it was before. Because a clone, um, a Windows 7 won't boot up properly. It won't boot up at all. I can't even get started up the pair to fix it. So it was a bloody dodgy clone. Hopefully the uh, product key is on there intact. I want to retrieve it. I'm using um, Hyron's boot CD. Heaven, I like saying Hyron. Just like the word side, but with a H. <laughs> it's good, actually a good disc. Just use everything via the mini Windows XP. Now I keep getting a um, blue screen error on this one. My uh, motherboard is apparently is not ACPI compliant. So I disabled it in the BIOS altogether. See if that fixes it. I'm pissed if it still does it. Ah, yeah. oh, damn it! Still, I turned it off altogether. Oh, bugger! The BIOS of the system is not fully ACPI compliant. Well, I've updated the BIOS on this motherboard anyway, so it's already been done, it's up to date. I'm able to have an updated BIOS or the latest BIOS supplied by your vendor is not ACPI compliant. You can turn it off ACPI. I've done that. I've already disabled ACPI on the BIOS and it's still doing it. Bugger! No, oh, what was the most important part is running the mini Windows XP to get to all the things that I need to get to. Ah, bugger. F7. Two on some bloody setup to see if it does it like this anyway. Probably not. Won't do it. Um, well, I don't think it's got the, um, it's called Prodigy Key. Yeah, it won't do it. You gotta do it only in the mini Windows XP. Yeah, it won't do it, see? Bugger. Well, let's see if this works. There we go. See? It's all start up up here. And that doesn't work. And start Windows normally doesn't work. It just sits there at the starting Windows screen. And a flag doesn't even come up, so... I should have double cleaned that hard drive and checked it before I um, wiped the other one. I cleaned it off. Don't. Nah. Can't help doing it. It's a problem. Um, so to do this, that's all it does. Windows won't start. Oh, damn it. Hmm, what's going on there? Yeah, it just reset itself. Um, yeah, if anyone knows why I keep getting that ACPI um, blue screen ever on this mini Windows XP and this Highlands boot disc, let me know. Because this motherboard BIOS is updated. So, unless this just isn't an ACPI compliant motherboard altogether. But I kind of find it hard to believe. What DOS programs have I got? All I want to do is run Prodigy Key to recover the um, product key off this drive so I can reactivate and reinstall the Windows 7 on here again. But uh, yeah, if I can't do that, I'm screwed. Okay, the I did some bloody messing around, I tell you. I tried my well and um, external hard drive enclosure. My lit made piece of garbage. Or should I say shit, man. It uh, did what it does best, and it was a take a shit. So I took my shit on it back and got some revenge. A couple of stabs at a screwdriver and smash on the floor, that fixed it. Yeah, cheap technology. Better off in a toilet than it is tucked into your computer. It's always been flaky, this thing. The SATA ones were working okay for a bit, then it started getting flaky again. The IDE was a bloody nightmare on this thing. A piece of garbage. Yeah, I like the design, but yeah, shit, mate. It's the art of landfill. It really is. Don't buy it. That's what it is, a shit, mate. Yeah, JM generic chips on this thing. I mean, it was good for an older computer. They're handy, but yeah, you get what you pay for. Try and stick to a well known brand.
and buy bulk if you can if you get them cheap enough because these are always stuff up and have all their problems. IT chip on that for the card reader. 2010 this thing's made. Nothing but a flaky as piece of crap. More flaky than the bowl of cornflake cereal. Bloody things. So that was completely stuffed. I tried my um, Welland external hard drive. I'm going to close it. I'd wrap that WD-440 uh, WD card over it. And it still wasn't detecting. Even on that computer and the other computer. I tested my Ritmo dock properly too with other hard drives and confirmed the Ritmo dock was absolutely buggered before I smashed it. So I made sure it was not um, it was worthwhile smashing in the first place. But it turns out this old 40 gig hard drive prefers a vintage external hard drive enclosure. And it works. But only on this machine, I couldn't get any external hard drives to work anymore on the Windows 10 machine I got. There's an annoying bug in Windows 10 that you plug these in, it'll um, play the sound and you can eject it, but I can't even get any access to any of these, even at the disk manager in Windows 10. I used to, right up until, right up until about 9 o'clock last night, I started getting this freaking bug. So I hope uh, Microsoft fixed that. It's going to be a bug, that's all I can put it down to, but I've actually found a decent bloody key finder program. There's a million other ones there that don't bloody work. So I've downloaded a decent one called Key Finder, where is it? It's Enchanted Key Finder. It's um, still in beta stages at the moment. You must extract it from the zip archive and then right click, so here, right click on as administrator when you're looking for the hive to get the product key for the external drive otherwise you get a, um, the client is not authorised sort of error so very annoying so if you, don't have, if you really want to do it properly and your hard drive is actually working so next time before I clean the hard drive I'm going to, to run Bell Arc Advisor Bell Arc Advisor will strip any product keys you have to back up so yeah <laughs> Worthwhile not doing that next time I do a thick and clone. I'm going to back this up. Um, let's go back here. here. This is in beta version at the moment. So it's not really um, fully developed. I tried magical jelly bean. That gave me a bloody uh, client has no privileges ever. And so did the um, project key. So I tried this um, enchanted one. I was able to successfully run it as administrator. The other ones wouldn't let me do that. Maybe because I didn't extract those from the zip file, but eh, I tried to enchant it, but it wasn't best for me. But anyway, I'll back the stuff up onto my external hard drive. The important stuff that I really need and product keys and stuff, I'm going to stay backed up and put in a safe place. Should I have any problems? Anyway, that'd be enough for now. Thanks for watching.